Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to the final installment in this series. Uh, may have been a little bit of a surprise to some of you. Um, doesn't necessarily line up with what we've been talking about throughout the series, but um, I do think it's a critical part of drawing near to God because the writers of the New Testament talk over and over and over again about this, this horizontal relationship with each other and how that impacts our vertical relationship um, with Jesus. And I think there's a great example of how this looks in um, the Gospels. It's a story many of us have heard since we were little. Uh, it's a story of Zacchaeus, the wee little man. And the wee little man was he. You know the, you know the song. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today, right? Um, so Zacchaeus was a tax collector, right? Lowest rung on the social totem pole. You had uh, religious leaders, you know, Pharisees, Sadducees. You had the regular people. Then you had the sinners. And then you had tax collectors all the way down here. They, they were below um, the sinners. And so Jesus goes to see Zacchaeus in Zacchaeus' house. Okay? So talk about drawing near, right? Jesus was at his dinner table. He was as close to Jesus as you could get. He, he's eating dinner with Jesus, spends quality time with him. And do you remember what Zacchaeus did as a result of that? And in fact, actually, here, here's what Zacchaeus didn't do. Zacchaeus didn't say, I've been with Jesus, so from now on, I'll never miss synagogue I'm going every single week. That's not what he said. Um, I've been with Jesus, so from now on, I'm going to read the Old Testament from cover to cover. Didn't say that. Um, I've been with Jesus, so from now on, I'm going to pray every day. No. He says, I've been with Jesus, so I'm paying back everybody I cheated with interest. Right? And, and from now on, I'm changing the way I treat people that I do business with. See, Zacchaeus was with Jesus, and the result was what we see taught all throughout uh, the New Testament. To be in right relationship this way, you, we've got to resolve the relationships this way. I mean, Jesus even prayed it. We looked at this last week. He prayed, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts. Amen. No, no, it was, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Why does Jesus put that part in there? Why does Jesus teach us to pray that way? Because if we're going to draw near this way, we got to be reconciled this way. Can't divorce the two. And, and, and it's my temptation, it's your temptation, it's all, all, all of our temptations. So as you think about your pathway, okay, there are certain things that regardless of what your pathway is, we're all called to. It's, it's like spiritual gifts, right? Um, there, some people have the spiritual gift of evangelism, but we're all called to evangelize, right? You may be an enthusiastic worshiper, but we're all called to worship. We, we, all, we all worship. So as you think about drawing near, I hope, if you haven't already, and, and I hope you'll do this throughout the rest of your life, I hope you'll do the difficult heart level work of figuring out where are the relationships that need to be reconciled? What, what is my part in it? And how can I do that? What does that look like for me to, to, to be a part of reconciling as much as I can? as much as you can, because there are some, there's sometimes, there's only so much that you can do. But let's not use that as an excuse to not pursue making these horizontal relationships right so that we can be made right vertically. And, and I hope we'll be the kind of people, I hope I want to be the kind of person that sees the benefit of humility, that sees the benefit of rooting out pride, from our hearts, not just, not just the personal benefit, but the benefit to the kingdom, the benefit to the relationships that are a part of our lives. So um, I hope this has been a helpful series. 
I hope the conversations you're having around um, living rooms and dining room tables and couches and all the places uh, that we're meeting throughout the city have been helpful. Um, and I hope that as you continue, as you as we as we're done with the series, but we continue on figuring out what it looks like um, to draw near to God, um, that we'll do these things, that these common practices will just be a part of our life. So have a great discussion today and we'll see you this weekend.